Hi. Today, uh, we're going to discuss about transport phenomena in biological systems for medical engineering. So, uh, we will study about this um, understanding the role of transport processes, uh, especially related to biological systems. For that, we will discuss about diffusion um, and convection and physiological transport. Uh, these are the references. So let's first think about the role of transport processes in, in our biological system. So for cells and organs and tissue to function properly, we know that oxygen, nutrients, and uh, regulators of growth and function must be moved rapidly to and through them uh, so that the organ, organisms control these concentrations of molecules in our tissues and our organs. Or, and changes in these transport processes are important factors in many diseases, such as uh, you know, atherosclerosis and kidney diseases. So why uh, mechanical or engineering um, uh, understanding of these transport process is important for our biomedical engineers? So we can uh, raise some of the examples why these are important. Uh, one example is when someone has a kidney failure, uh, he or she may need a uh, hemo, uh, uh, hemodialysis, meaning that he needs to go to hospital for now, a couple of times a week to, uh, to uh, replace the function of kidney by using a machine called the hemodialysis uh, machine. So that you can see it here, so that it, it removes the waste and filter out the, the blood. Also, another uh, example is there are uh, open heart surgery, where it is uh, sometimes uh, people have a uh, coronary arterial disease, a narrowing down of the coronary artery, which can cause uh, angina and even like myocardial infarction or, or heart attack. And to prevent that, um, if there are so many, and depending on the situation, uh, the doctor may want uh, to have a major surgery called CABG, C A B G, stands for coronary artery bypass graft, which requires an open heart and taking off a big veins in the patient's leg and then using that um, uh, want to bypass the narrowed down coronary so that to perfuse. So, during the time of this heart, major heart surgery, the patient also need uh, a perfusion uh, to the uh, lung so that it, uh, the blood should be able to um, oxygenate. So to replace this function during the surgical time, we need a machine so-called heart-lung machine. And that's uh, described in here, so that instead of the the patient's heart, which is undergoing a surgery, we have a sophisticated uh, machine which will replace the function of the lung during the surgery. So this is all involved in transport phenomena. So let's uh, discuss a little more of transport processes in biological system. So this physical phenomena involved in the transport of molecules is, you already know, diffusion and convection. So diffusion is a random migration of molecules or, or small particles that arises from molecular. So diffusion, if you look at it at microscopic scale, you know, we recognize that these, um, let's say even molecule, uh, liquid, water, uh, these molecular collisions are, are due to thermal energy resulting in the mixing or uh, mass transport. So that's the first is molecular collision is uh, the most important physical process at the microscopic scale for the diffusion phenomena. Uh, on the other hand, we also know that a bulk motion of this fluid or, or 
all heat. So that kind of collective movement of molecules from bulk motion of fluid, such as a liquid or gases, are called convection. And these two processes are uh, very important. Uh, for specifically for biological systems, especially for uh, the basic unit of um, uh, our body as a cell. So cell membrane, across the cell membrane, the transport of molecules is very, very important. So transport by binding interaction is another uh, set we want to discuss as a non-covalent interactions between molecules that can lead to transport of molecules in and out of the cell. For example, selective transport molecules into the cell, such as glucose, which is the most, uh, one of the most important uh, molecules.